in. Come on in. And the whole mysteries of the universe. You don't fool people, Stan. They fool themselves. The casting in Nightmare Alley was really a beautiful blessing. We have one of the greatest cast ever assembled. All my heroes are in this movie. Bradley Cooper, Tony Collette, Willem Dafoe, Rooney Mara, David Strathairn, Richard Jenkins, and Kate Blanchett. It's like the 27 Yankees, man. It's murderer's row. The thing that primarily caught my interest was working with Guillermo. I'm such a huge admirer of his cinematic oeuvre and how unique it is. He's a true auteur, an absolute artist, and he just listens to his gut, and I love that. All right, let's shoot it. Films are a symphony, and each actor is a precise instrument. Each of them brought a dynamic, so it was really quite a banquet of different techniques, realities, and chemistries. People are desperate to tell you who they are. This is a group of actors who are expert in what they do. He's put together a, a group of people who can express the eccentricities of this world. Begotten by the same lust and threat that got us all walking on this earth, but gone wrong somehow in the maternal womb. Not fit for living. Guillermo's fluid. He rolls with the punches. Got it. I really admire it when a director, rather than fussing and trying to bend it to make it fit their idea, they see what the world is saying to them and they make adjustments. I believe you know to whom I'm speaking now, do you not? You're correct again. Guillermo had a clear shape for the way he wanted the scenes to play out. But the wonderful thing about working with him is he says, I like being right, but I love being wrong. So that he's really alive to suggestions that actors make. What do I want? To be found out, same as everybody else. It felt quite theatrical. It didn't feel about getting it right. It just felt like an investigation. And so it was really quite an exciting way to work. Sometimes you have dark thoughts about yourself, don't you? Well, don't you? <laughs>